Well, we're here today because there's a screening of the documentary tonight. And the documentary is based on the book that Mallory wrote called Salt in My Soul, which she wrote over 10 years in diary entries. I then worked with Random House to bring her memoir to publication posthumously, and Will decided to make the documentary, and we're here to show it. it does a great job of raising awareness for phage therapy. Things seem to be getting worse instead of better. It seems like I'm resistant to with the antibiotics. Already we've seen an extraordinary raising of awareness of the technology that's in the film, you know, the most notably the phage therapy. The topic of antimicrobial resistance, so resistance to antibiotics, it's probably the world's biggest health crisis, which nobody knows about. And so actually it's very satisfying to see the film being used by the groups, really trying to promote awareness of that, both in the US and here in the UK. But I also hope it has a legacy that really kind of raises the awareness and the acceptability of these extraordinary new technologies uh, that obviously you guys at Leicester are spearheading. A bacteriophage is a virus that specifically infects the bacteria. And all bacteria everywhere have got these natural viruses that infect them. They're just part of the, the normal natural microbial world. But they're very, very useful to us because we can find bacteriophages that kill bacteria that we can't kill otherwise. So there are many bacteria now that we can't treat because they're resistant to antibiotics. We need to be able to treat people that get infected by them so we can find phages that can be used instead or as well as antibiotics. So phages were used to treat Mallory. They were nebulized into her lungs. They were sprayed into her lungs to try to treat these bacteria. So she had bacteria. She knew that she had bacteria that were resistant to antibiotics. So her father found out about phages and she eventually got hold of some phages. But unfortunately, she was very, very sick by the time she got those phages. They, they did show um, in the autopsy after she passed away that the phages had started to work. So it's a, a terrible tragedy that they were not available to her earlier on. Well, what we're hoping to do is establish a natural bacteriophage centre. So in a way, formalise everything we're doing at the moment. We're working on several different diseases, bacterial strains. We've got big collections of phages, and we're starting to build up those partnerships with doctors who need those phages. Well, anybody that knew Mallory would know that she would be rolling her eyes at her mom for doing this. But I think underneath that, she would be very proud to know that the book that she wrote is being read in medical schools all over the world, and that now there's a film that is reaching different audiences. I think it's really important to share patient stories because it's an easier way for people to understand, and they learn because oxytocin gets triggered when we share stories. So that's my plan to continue to do that.